Cloudflare recently put out an app to make using 1.1.1 easier to use on your smartphone. And I've got three reasons why you shouldn't install it. What's up guys, welcome to Bender 2 Bite Size Tutorials and Tech Reviews. Let you know you should get it or forget it. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and click for notifications so you don't miss out on anything. You might remember last year that I talked about 1.1, how it could speed up your internet and how it gives your internet service provider less information that they're able to sell about your internet usage. And I wanna take a brief second to clarify something because there's some confusion in the last video. It doesn't improve your overall internet speed. It just reduces the time it takes to find the web page and load it. So if you have cruddy low band internet, it's not gonna give you gigabit speeds. It's just gonna see a slight improvement. In that video, I'll show how to put 1.1 on your PC, your router, and in an IGTV video, I showed how to do it on your iPhone. Now at the time that required you going to every Wi-Fi network you connect to and changing the DNS settings, which is a hassle and the same thing on Android. Since then, Cloudflare released an app to download in the Play Store or the App Store that allows you to just turn it on with one click. It works for every Wi-Fi network and even your cell network. Now that sounds great and all, but it does have some drawbacks. The main drawback with this app, and it ties into everything that I'm gonna talk about here, is that they make a VPN configuration on your phone, even though it's not a VPN service. I've been using 1.1 for months now, since before I made the last video, and I've run into no problems. There have been no issues whatsoever. Everything works fine, everything's fast. But as soon as I install the app and it runs that VPN configuration, all of a sudden, I can't find devices on my network. Now, I need access to everything on my network. I cast to my TV all the time. If I all of a sudden can't cast things to my TV, that's a no-go. Another issue here is if you actually pay for a VPN service. You can't run two VPN profiles at the same time. So you have to prioritize back and forth. Do I want to use Cloudflare? Do I want to use my VPN? You have to keep switching on and off. And that's the same across iOS and Android. And speaking of Android, if you have a device that runs Android Pie, you don't even have to worry about running the app or manually configuring it for each network. All you have to do is open your settings, go to Wi-Fi, private DNS, and put in the URL that I got here on the screen. Or if you're on your phone right now, just copy and paste, I'll have it in the description below. And with that private DNS server enabled, you don't have to worry about a VPN configuration screwing anything up or anything else that we just talked about. Unfortunately for iPhone users, this isn't available on iOS. So you either have to deal with that VPN configuration or manually put everything in yourself. So it comes down to, do you need this app? If you're on Android Pie, absolutely not. Just put in that private DNS server and your gravy. For older versions of Android and anybody on iOS, if you don't pay for a VPN, I would say install this as a backup. If you find yourself on public Wi-Fi a lot or something, just click it on. It gives a little less data about what you're doing. It's still not as secure as that VPN, but you're still giving them less information than you would have otherwise. I would say for your home or if you're on a work Wi-Fi, it's something you constantly connect to, I would manually put it in. You only got to do it once for that network and just deal with it that way. Now, I'm really interested to find out if you guys are using a VPN. And if so, what one are you using? Let me know down in the comment section below. And that's it for me today, guys. If you liked the video, found it helpful in any way, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.